All right, this is my next to last grouping right here. Once again, we got a nice clean target. This is what I just shot. Let's go down here so we can call it clear. As I stated before, I'm probably going to leave this where I got it set. I'm not going to make no more adjustments. I'm going to shoot this grouping right here. Make sure I like where it's hitting at. Then I'm going to do one more grouping. And then we'll be done for the day. I'm going to go ahead and make my big purchase of ammo. Not next week, the week after next. I'm running a 75 grain Frontier right now. Fear Munitions actually got some 77 grain too. I'm thinking about that. I don't know. Alright, let's call it clear. So we're going to look at our progress right quick. This is our progress. This is the first grouping after I zeroed it for 50. I made my adjustments, went one click to the right, made some more adjustments, one click down and this is what we got. I'm going to leave it here, I'm going to shoot a three shot grouping, see where I hit at and then we'll make some changes if necessary but I'm satisfied with that right there. Got just enough ammunition to accomplish this task. We're gonna do a three-shot group. Gonna work on our fundamentals of shooting, work on my breathing, my trigger squeeze. You forgot something. Oh, take the cone down. Yep. Oh, three shot grouping, my bad. <laughs> well, we do a four shot. I got enough in there for a four shot. Yeah, All right. And I'm telling y'all now, I think I like what we doing. Because I put this free floater rail on here, I'm, ab I'm actually able to get my thumb over there and pull this rifle more into my shoulder. And I'm thinking that's tighten up them groupings too. <laughs> Woo! I like that. <laughs> I think we got a winner now. I think we locked in ready to go. Y'all know what time it is.
Ugh. Y'all know exactly what time it is. Smoke break time. I think I like this grouping right here. I think we got it locked in, ready to go, man. I am really impressed. I really am. Ooh, I'm so excited too. I could kind of see these groupings too. They just a little bit over the red square I was aiming at too. I think we locked in ready to go. I think I'm going to free float that um dissipator too. I really like that stinger rail. It's nice and thin. It ain't thick like that mag pull rail. You know that mag pull rail I got? the uh, Y'all know the mag pull rail. It's just thick. You can't get that thumbs over board how you want to. With this rail that I got on here now... I'm able to get that thumb over the board and I'm able to pull that rifle into my shoulder to try to keep that, um, what can you call it, what can you call it? When you on magnify, you know, y'all shooters too. Most of the people who watch my videos shooters. You know how it is when you magnify it, when you're running with a magnified optic, how any kind of little movement looks more than what it really is because you magnify it. So with that rail and me able to put my thumb over the board like that and pull it into my shoulder, it's kind of mitigating that little, I can't think of the exact word, that little wobble. We'll call it a wobble while you magnify it. And I'm going to upgrade on my bipod too. I've been running that little budget UTG bipod. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop some money on a, on a decent bipod. But I'm excited to see what this grouping look like. Because I think this grouping is exactly what I want it to be. I really, really, really do, man. <laughs> I really do, man. I think this grouping is on point, man. I really do, y'all. Now the wind blowing straight now. <laughs> That's crazy. Wind blowing all different kinds of ways. I'm really glad I free floated this rifle. I really am, man. I'm glad I pushed through and free floated this. It really makes a difference. It really do. I mean, it's like a night and day difference. From free floated versus non-free floated. It's a night and day difference, without a doubt. And they did a damn good job, too. I haven't had no issues with it. Also, you know what, y'all? And that, um, the Advanced Recce Rifle. That's what I named that rifle. Advanced Recce Rifle. And that Advanced Recce Rifle, I'm running an H1 buffer right now. And it's still throwing that brass at 2 o'clock, too. So, even on a rifle length gas system, Palmetto State shit is still kind of over gas. But I kind of like that H1 buffer a little bit more than I do that, um carbine silent recoil buffer I got in there so I think what I'm going to do is is for the dissipator well I'm not sure what I want to do with that dissipator yet I don't know if I want to free float it and just keep the gas block that's on there and work on a buffer or if I want to change that gas block to adjustable gas block from what I've been hearing it seems like the best most duty approved way to do it is to just change the buffer and don't even fuck with the adjustable gas block. That's what I'm hearing. So, on this dissipator, I think what I'm going to do with the dissipator is. I'm going to get me a f another 15 inch rail, the Viper rail. And I'm going to free float that dissipator. And I'm just going to run the uh, low profile gas block that Palmetto State Army already have on that. And I'll do all my over gas issues through the buffer. 
looking for a, a heavier buffer and maybe a buffer spring. And I'll just leave it over gas. And I might go to an H2 buffer. So what I'm going to do is with that uh, armor spec silent recoil buffer, I'm going to buy an H1 buffer. A H1 attachment. A H1 weight, should I say. And I'm going to put an H1 weight on that. And I'm going to leave that in the advanced recce rifle. And with that dissipator, I'm probably going to have to put an H2 buffer in that dissipator. Because that dissipator is super over gas. Super, super duper over gas. And that's why I'm thinking about uh, putting an adjustable gas block on there. Because that bitch is super duper over gas. Even this rifle lift gas system with an H1 buffer is still throwing the brass at 2 o'clock. Still throwing the brass at 2 o'clock. So I'm just going to run the H1 buffer in the advanced wrecking rifle and I'm going to get the um what is it was it uh, the Gosley super braided buffer spring and buffer for the uh dissipator and I'm going to free float that dissipator yep I'm going to free float the dissipator I really like that rail. That rail lets you get that good C clamp on it. It lets you get that good thumb over bore on it. And you can pull that rifle into your shoulder. And just being able to pull that rifle into your shoulder will kind of help mitigate the recoil also. I'm kind of excited, y'all. I'm really excited. I think with the dissipate, I'm just going to take that back to the gun shop. You know what I'm saying? As much as I want to do it myself, I think it's just best I just take that to the gun shop and let them do it. They did a damn good job on this one. And I already talked to them when I went down there. They say they'll do it for me. And he only charged me $60. He was going to charge me $90, but he said it didn't even take as long as he thought it would. Which, in essence, since I left the rifle with them, that lets me know that they're good people. Because they could have just left the rifle there for like another 30 minutes and just charged me $90 for the hell of it. But they kept it 100 with me and said it didn't take that long. So they only charged me $60. So there's some good people there. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a whole video just on this gun shop. But it's the um, it's in Laverne. Specialty Arms in Laverne, Tennessee. Good people there, man. I ain't got nothing bad to say about them people. I done bought my CZP-10F from there. They put sights on that gun. They put sights on the CZP-07. They free-floated the, um, the advanced recce rifle. Good people, man. I'm just going to take that dissipator there and let them free-float that. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Plus, by uh, free floating, that lets more air get to the barrel also. It lets air get to that barrel also. So that'll help keep that barrel cool. Since that dissipator is really a shoot fast rifle, I think it'll be best if I go ahead and free float that so that thing can have a lot of air around it. So let's take a look at that, man. That thing look good. good. That look fucking excellent. Man. I like that rail, man. That is the best rail for the money on the market. As I stated earlier, I'm going to change this bipod out. I think I'm going to put a herd bipod on there. Man, this motherfucker. Ooh, I like this, boy. I'm so glad I free floated this. I really am. And guard still on tight. Gas pop look good. Got the two stage nickel ball on trigger. I like this. I'm gonna change that grip out too. I might leave that grip on there. No, I'll change it out to black grip. We should be ready to call clear in a minute. Since this is my last grouping, we're going to hang the premium silhouette target up. See how many rounds of ammunition I got loaded up in here. One, two, three, four. Well, we got four in there, so I got four more rounds of ammunition. I could do a good four shot grouping on this target. And we'll be done. This is the last grouping I just shot. We're going to go down and see what this one look like. And from looking through my scope 
in my little binoculars, I think we got a good, decent grouping at the top of that red square. I think right about here is where I got a decent little grouping at. See what these groupings look like. And as I stated before, I think we ready. I think we good to go. I don't think I need to make no more adjustments. Let's go down here and see what we got. I think we on point. We good to go. Oh yeah, we good. We are fucking good. I ain't making no changes. I ain't getting no better than this. This is what we got. That is what we got at 200 yards. I think we locked in. We ready to go. I'm not making no more changes. None whatsoever. I like that. And yes, one more time. Free floating your AR-15 will make it more accurate. Without a doubt. That is the grouping I just shot. I'm finna hang up another clean target. We're finna shoot our last grouping and we'll be done. 